In this paper, we first establish a safety risk taxonomy, which includes categories such as violence and hate, sexual content, guns and illegal weapons, regulated or controlled substances, suicide and self-harm, and criminal planning. We also provide risk guidelines that help determine what content is considered safe or unsafe within each category. Next, we train a system called LamaGuard using these risk guidelines. We fine-tune large language models, LLMs, with tasks that classify content as safe or unsafe based on the guidelines. We also specify the conversation format for the task, which can be either single-turn or multi-turn. The desired output format for LamaGuard is defined as either safe or unsafe. If the content is classified as unsafe, the model also lists the violated taxonomy categories. This output format allows for binary and multi-label classification. We also discuss how LamaGuard can be adapted to different taxonomies and guidelines using zero-shot or few-shot prompting. Zero-shot prompting involves using category names or category names with descriptions from the target domain in the prompt at inference time. Few-shot prompting includes two to four examples for each category in the prompt, without training on these examples. We then leverage human preference data about harmlessness from Anthropic to collect data for training LamaGuard. We use the first human prompt and discard the corresponding response, as well as other turns, to create an initial single-turn prompt dataset. Expert annotators from our in-house red team label the prompt and response pairs based on the defined taxonomy. The dataset comprises nearly 14,000 prompts and responses with annotations. Finally, we build LamaGuard on top of the Llama 2-7B model. We choose the smallest model size for its user-friendliness and lower inference and deployment costs. The training is performed on a single machine using a batch size of 2, a sequence length of 4096, and a specific learning rate. The training is conducted for 500 steps, corresponding to approximately one epoch over the training set. We also employ data augmentation techniques to promote desired behavior and safety assessment. These techniques include dropping random categories from the model prompt if they're not violated in the example, and dropping all violated categories from the input prompt while changing the label to safe. We shuffle category indices across training examples to avoid format memorization.